everybody, and welcome to the Blowski Bunch Weekend Vlog. Mouthful. It is. It's a lot. <laughs> so we are just kind of. David actually is on call. This I'm going weekend, to work. So he's actually going to work, but I wanted him to explain to you kind of what we're doing today. Why am I explaining? Because you know more about the dresser and more about what we're doing. Um, I'm doing some of the work, but he. She's doing a lot of work because I'm yeah. working. Yeah. Um, this is a dresser that has been in the family for. Gosh, this guy like 20 years, 20 plus years. It was mom's. And then now we're going to make it look nice because it's been very beat up for a number of years. Um, like it's all tore up. And we're not going to change that too much. We're just going to sand everything down and then restain it. And like right here, there's a bad spot where everything's kind of been chewed up. But we're going to sand everything down, get rid of all these deep gouges, get rid of this clear coat that's on top of it, and then restain it to match the baby's room. Because everything we have in there is a little bit darker. And I really want to, if we can make it nice and restain it, it might be able to keep it quite a bit longer. So, that's what we're doing. And it is a large four drawer dresser. We actually did the drawers yesterday. Um, we were trying to just be proactive and we thought, you know, we really should bring you guys in on the end part or the rest of the project. Um, so we did do the four deep drawers and they, it has two like pull out, what were those things called? I don't know, they're like almost like little tray tables, but there was little yeah, slats that pull little out. Little extensions from the front. Um, and we painted, or we sanded and stained those. Um, we had some leftover stain from one of David's projects, archery projects. I think he did the, the quivers. Yeah, so we had leftover stain, so we actually ended up falling in love with that stain. So that is what we are using on this. So what I did yesterday is I sanded and did all of that, and then David helped me. I helped sand stain. in the beginning and then I got calls, which... Yeah. That's what happens when you're on call. <laughs> air conditioning in February. Yeah. Well, I actually ran a no heat and no cool, which that doesn't happen both in the same day usually, but... Yeah. It's... The sun is hot today. I mean, it's warm out here. I'm sweating already. So, so I just wanted to show you kind of what we're doing. Um, you can see that we took the drawers out. He did show you some of the damage. And the, the top, I mean, it's been in... Um, David's family for such a long time and a lot of kids have written their names in it. Um, there's several. Christine was here. Nicholas was here. Stickers. Um, like nail polish. Oh, that is. Um, there, so there's just a lot of wear and tear on this dresser. Um, I'm really excited to see what this comes out looking like after we're done because there's a lot, a lot of usage on that. Yeah, and the drawers were equally as probably terrible as the top was. Um, so I did work really hard with 60 grit sandpaper to get all of those um, objects and nail polish and stickers and names and um, stuff out. So, and it did work out really well. I'll actually show you guys the drawers now. Um, now we're not doing like every surface. We're going out the, the cop out way. We're doing the stuff that you see. So the original color, it was like this and that's actually like a lot of it looked like so you can see the difference in the two and it's actually a little bit lighter than what it looks this is a little bit lighter than what the rest of it was but actually if you go to the front you can see the difference or even right there so this is the stain we fell in love with and this is the stain that the table was originally um we did sand it and we do like these darker marks where it just it was down to the wood when we sanded it we think you can it still adds see a lot some of character of the, some of the like the imperfections scratches. right and i like that i think it's neat but i think this top i the, i should have brought the other one out the other one i think is no this one had the this is the one that had there was nail polish on this corner mm -hmm. and that's why you can see some of the heavier sandpaper grit but i think it came out really nice yeah and obviously it's we're not perfect we're not wood finishers but it does look really pretty and this is the drawer and you can see we did sand it in some areas that had names or stickers but i do think that it adds a lot of character and i'd rather have these little darker spot spots where we sanded it a little heavier than to have the sticker or the name on it so came out really good yeah and we did take these off take we did sand this separately so we do think that's a good perspective of what it was and what it is going to be. So if you want to DIY a dresser and you think, hmm, 
That's really gonna be hard because I think I've been talking myself out of this project since we got the dresser and since we're having the baby, I can't talk myself out of doing projects anymore. So, um, because we're really getting down to the wire um, nine more weeks before we have this baby and I need to have this dresser done. Actually, we're having our baby shower next weekend and I need to have my, ba my dresser done before then because I'm sure people are going to be wanting to see this baby's room. So if you do come to my baby shower, you will get a sneak peek of peak of the nursery. The rest of you who watch our vlogs will have to wait till our nursery re reveal to be able to see that. But um, I needed to get this dresser done before then. But honestly, I thought it was going to be a much larger project than it has turned out to be. Um, it's nice. It's standing now nice. It's obviously not perfect, but it still looks really great. We really like the stain and I look forward to seeing how it turns out. So don't be discouraged by the, by the wear and tear on the dresser because I think some of the stain really hides a lot of the blemishes or just adds character that yes I know there was a sticker there but nobody else knows that there was a sticker there so also I, I couldn't find any real good information I probably would know more if I did more woodworking stuff we are using 60 grit for the heavy stuff and then doing pretty much like all of the whole face in 120 um, and of course you could probably do 150. The things that I've heard and learned over the years that uh, the coarser the grit, the better the stain is going to take. Um, so I would think that that would be a really easy way or just an easy number to know is like you maybe do the, the heavy stuff if there's a sticker, try and scrape it off and maybe do the heavy gouge in the 60 grit and then do everything in like 120 or 150. Um, and then stain it from there. And then we'll probably do a clear coat over the whole thing too, but that'll be another time. It's not gonna be this weekend, but I like it so far. And I don't even know if we need to do the clear coat. But we probably will. But uh, it doesn't rub off on it. I mean, our, my hands were covered yesterday. From all saying. <laughs> well, we bought gloves today. So, <laughs> so let me um, get my stuff out and I'll obviously show you guys kind of what I'm doing. Um, David's got to go run to work um, and do some calls. And uh, yeah, let's get to sanding. <laughs> I'm hot, I'm sweaty, I'm looking a hot mess, so please excuse this. I wanted to show you kind of, so I've sanded all, I've sanded the top, the sides, all of this little detail work along the edges. Um, I'm not sure how well you can see this in the light because it's not really in the light, but I have sanded all of these surfaces and um, you can see through the top. I've tried to correct some of these blemishes. This was all scratched up. Now it's nice and smooth. Obviously we can't correct any of these little issues, but the stain will hide it a little bit more. So I am pretty happy with that. Now it's nice and smooth. As you're going, you can see some areas that the gloss is still in place. So if you see any of those areas that are a little bit shinier, I'm gonna go back and sand those areas. Um, we did not have much of a problem with the, sa the stain sticking to the drawers. Actually, we didn't have a problem at all. They look great and that's how we did those. Um, I used 60 grit sandpaper and then 150. Um, and all I do is we had like a little piece of wood left over and I just wrap the sandpaper around the wood and then I just sand. Obviously I sand with the grain so if the grain's going this way you're sanding this way um, I just think it looks smoother and it won't leave any like harsh brash lines. David is actually on another call so unfortunately he is not going to to be doing this stain with me, I'm going to be doing it myself um, so that when he comes home, he doesn't have to worry about it. So I'm going to stain this dresser. Um, here are some of the essentials that I have. I've got this stain and it is wood stain. The color is Kona. I've got gloves so that I don't get this stain all over my hands even though it's already starting. And I have some cut up t-shirts that I'm going to wipe the stain on and then I'm going to wipe the stain off. This stain is very dark so we do not want to leave it on there very long. 
we just wipe it on and then pretty much just wipe it right back off and it comes out perfect. So that is what I will be doing. I'm gonna show you the dresser before. And hopefully the dresser after. So that was successful. I think it turned out amazing. I'm gonna insert a picture here of the finished product with the drawers in. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it encourages you to refinish or repurpose or work on that project that you have been putting off because you thought that it was too much. But if I can do it almost seven and a half months pregnant, you can too. So please, please, please hit subscribe so you guys know when our next videos come out. We will see you on our next video. Bye.